Hey guys, it's me, and today I am here with a new installment of my makeup collection series. So in this particular part, we are going to be tackling all of my lip products, which if you watched my face products collection video, you know I mentioned that this is my problem area, or at least one of my problem areas, because I have so many lip products. I think when I counted them the other day because I swatched everything, I'll go ahead and show you guys the hand swatch that I did the other day because I'm not going to be swatching them in this video. I need to do a serious declutter of my lip product collection because there are just far too many. I have this tray that is completely full of lip products. This tray that is completely full of lip products. This tray that is completely full of lip products. And this tray. Again completely full of lip products but we're gonna be going through these products and just showing you guys everything that I have like I said I'm not gonna swatch everything I'm probably not gonna swatch anything just simply because there's so much here that if I were to go in and swatch everything while I talk about everything we're gonna be here for a long time so like I said you saw the hand swatch I'll show it to you again and I'll show it to you again later on in the video. But anyways, let's go ahead and dive on into this collection video. But before we do so, if you guys are new here to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. And also while you're down there, definitely give this video a thumbs up because it'll help me out a lot. All my links are down in the description box below. And yeah, let's get into this. Firstly, let's start out by showing you guys how I store everything. So I mentioned this in my eye products collection video that I store my lip products in with my individual eye products just simply because I don't have a lot of individual eye products but as you guys can see I have a lot of lip products but anyway so it started with this first guy here and it is my only lip liner and that is the NYX suede matte lip liner in the shade kitten heels which is just a true red and I figured I'd get this because I do have a red bullet lipstick and reds can be very tricky and finicky to work with so I figured I would get a red lip liner just to help me out with using that particular guy. So I guess the first trade that we'll start out with is this one here which has all of my bullet lipsticks in and there are also a couple of glosses in here as well and I already know that there are going to be quite a few products from this particular trade that I know that I'll wind up decluttering once I actually do my declutter and everything. I'm not going to do that one on camera or anything like that uh, just simply because it's going to be like a massive purging of my makeup collection. We'll start out with these ones up front which these are my Sugar Pill Pretty Poison lipsticks and I'm keeping all four of these. I've decluttered I want to say maybe two of these. I want to say I've decluttered two others of these um, but these are the ones that I have left and I love the packaging of these lipsticks so much but this first one here is in the shade Shiver which is a satiny metallic-ish blue really beautiful beautiful color we have detox which is a coral toned neon orange named after the drag queen detox i love this color i love it so much i need to wear it more this is a stunning stunning orange color next up we have glint which is a metallic gold which honestly it's quite wearable you wouldn't think that it's wearable but it honestly is. And the last of them that we have is Petrol, which this is a true red with gold shimmer throughout it. It's beautiful, beautiful red. I've been wanting this guy for so long and then they had restocked it. I finally got my hands on it. Stunning color. This is the reason why I got that red lip liner there, just to make sure that like this would go on looking nice. Because I don't want to look crusty. With a beautiful red lip balm. So I don't know if any of those shades are still available by the way so if they aren't sorry about it because I know that these two guys aren't available anymore and these are two of the KVD Stetikiss lipsticks. Um, this one here is in Bow and Arrow which there is a liquid lip version of this particular shade that is still permanent but this is what it looks like. It's a fawn nude. It's one of my favorite nudes. Like both of these KD Set of Kiss lipsticks are like my two of my favorite nudes. Um, and this one here is in the shade Grage, which 
It's a grayish. Love, love this one so, so much. Then I have two of the Anastasia matte lipsticks, which I don't know if these are still available anymore because I haven't seen them at my local Ulta. So I don't know if they're still there or not. Um, but the shades that I have, we have Dead Roses, which is in like a deep, like plummy mauvey type of shade. It's a really beautiful nude. And then we have Rosewood, which this is a really interesting shade. It's kind of like a red toned nude. It's really interesting, really pretty shade, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it though. Next up, I have a full size of a Melt lipstick and this shade has been discontinued and it's in the shade Tomboy. And as you can see from the tube, it looks like it's going to be a brown but when you actually put it on the lips, it's kind of like a grayish green. It's a really interesting color. I'm probably going to declutter it because I've only have worn it once since I got it. So, yeah. And this one is a mini melt lipstick. And this is in the shade 710. I got this through an offer code, I think, on Sephora. And it's like a mustardy toned type of shade. It's not really that flattering on me, so I'm probably going to rehome this one as well. This mini lipstick, however, I am keeping because I hate that I left this because now I want a full size of it because it is a stunning nude. And I got this using points from Sephora. And it is a mini of Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. It is the most basic nude ever, but it's such a beautiful, beautiful nude. I hate that the full size is $34, but I just might bite the bullet and get it one day. And then I have a mini of the Huda Beauty um, lipstick in the shade Interview, which this is like one of those like Lolita or KVD type of colors. Like it's that deeper, like rosy type of nudes and everything. It's a beautiful color. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it though. I might. Then these two are my latest additions to my collection. These are both from the ColourPop Star Wars collection. Um, this one here is called Supreme Ruler, which is a very deep red. It's like almost like a berry toned red shade. Also, can we just talk about how stunning the embossing is on these lipsticks? I'll show it to you on the other shade because it's probably a lot easier to see it on that one. And this one here is Dark Lord, which is a really beautiful nude shade. You can probably see the embossing a lot better on this one. And it's just so pretty and just so cute. And I really do like these. Um, I need to play around with um, Supreme Ruler though because I haven't worn that one yet. And then lastly, in this particular tray, we have gloss bombs. So this one is um, actually Fenty Glow and it's in this packaging for whatever reason. I got this using an offer code on Sephora I want to say and I really do like the shade. It's not my favorite shade of gloss but I do like it. I might wind up decluttering it. I don't know. I'm still debating on it. Um, then I have a Gloss Bomb Cream in the shade Peach Pout. And this was a limited edition shade for holiday 2021. And this was part of the Resting Peach Face duo. And um, it also came with a um, cream blush in the shade Peach Face, which I really do like that cream blush. If you watched my face products collection video, you know I like it. Uh, next up we have a shade that I'm probably going to also declutter. This one is in Pink Dragonfly and I got this in gratis. Um, just like a little hint as to like the work that I do. I do work in beauty retail and I got this in gratis. Um, and it's a pretty color but it's not something that I would typically gravitate towards too so I'll probably wind up decluttering this one. Because I've had it for a little while now and I haven't even used it. But lastly, we have Fussy, and this is a mini that I got through a duo that um, I found on Sephora where it was this gloss and um, a mini of the Diamond Bomb and How Many Carrots. I love this color so, so much. 
so so much definitely am keeping fussy so that is lip tray number one let's move on into lip tray number two i think we'll move on into this one next because it has the least amount of product in it. These are ColourPop Luxe Lip Oils, and these were part of the Mandalorian collection. We have Din Jardin, which is kind of like this nudie shade, and then we have Grogu, which is this clear that has a bit of like, I think it's like silver, maybe green, blue, micro glitters in it. It's really pretty, but you'd never see the glitters on the lips, so really like these. They feel so nice on the lips. They feel so nice on the lips. The This is Juice Gloss from NYX, and I have the shade Coconut Chill, and it's just a clear gloss. And I actually like using this as a lip balm because it's really nice and hydrating. Just keep it in here for now because I'm trying to work through other like lip helping products and everything, like lip balmy type of things. So yeah. Uh, next up we have the Fenty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Unbutton, which is a neutral peachy nude. I wanted to try this guy out for so long, but I don't know if I like it. I love the color. I just don't think I like the formula enough to keep it, and I've had it for too long to return it. Then I have two of the Lime Crime Wet Cherry Glosses. Actually, everything else that's in here is Lime Crime. Um, but I have the shades White Cherry and then Naked Cherry. And I do like these glosses. I think that's a really nice, comfortable gloss formula. I just don't know if I want to keep them. That's the only thing. Same thing goes for these guys. These are the plushies. And I have the shades Milk Tea and Turkish Delight. And again, really do like these colors. These are colors that I really do enjoy. And I do like the formula, but I don't know if I like it enough to warrant keeping them. Then I have four of the Velveteens, and I think I might just keep maybe one or two of these um, after I do my big purge. Um, so we have this one here, this is Wicked, this is a classic, but honestly I'm probably going to declare it. It's an oxblood shade. It's not a bad color, it's just that I have another oxblood shade that I prefer a bit more because this one is a bit more, I don't know, I feel like it's a bit like orangey on me and I'm just not the biggest fan of the tone of it on me. Let's see, then we have Bleached which is a peachy nude type of shade. Not a bad color, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna, this is the one that I'm like, might keep. Cashmere. Now this one I'm most likely going to wind up keeping because it's like a grazy nude type of shade. But I also want to compare it to Grage from KVD because do prefer a bullet lipstick over a liquid lipstick these days even though I do have a lot of liquid lipsticks and then lastly we have L and this is like an in-between of like a grayish and a peachy nude like it definitely leans more like beigey peach but it's still like very like neutral cool leaning really interesting shade but I might part with it part my god, I'm struggling to speak now. Two trays down, two to go. And here we have tray number three. Now this one I am definitely gonna have to do some work on when it comes to decluttering, because I have so many in this tray. First up we have a mini of the KVD liquid lipsticks, and this is in the shade Center. This was a limited edition shade, so it no longer exists. And then I have six Anastasia liquid lipsticks. I have two minis and four full sizes. And I'm definitely gonna like break up a lot of these when I do my purging because I don't need all of these. I don't need them all. The first of the minis that I have is Hudson. This is a really unique nude. I'm probably gonna wind up keeping this one. Um, but again, I'm gonna swatch everything together and figure out what all it is I'm gonna wind up keeping, what all it is I'm gonna declutter. But I'm probably gonna wind up keeping this one because it's a really, really nice color. And then we have Dazed, and this is such a unique red shade. It's like a muted red. It's really interesting. I don't reach for it very often, but I 
kind of want to keep it just for the uniqueness of it but at the same time I was just like are you gonna use it I don't know that one's still up in the air um then we have American Doll this is one of the four full sizes that I have of the Anastasia liquid lips really beautiful red but I have another red that I like just a bit more than this one. This one is Crush, and this is just like a light pinky, neutrally nude shade. Really beautiful color. Again, don't really need it though, because I have so many like it throughout my collection. Um, then we have Grim, which this is like a deeper grayish color. Really beautiful shade. I just don't reach for it enough. So again, I'll probably wind up decluttering that one. But this one I am definitely keeping. This is my favorite like little lipstick probably one of my favorite nudes period in my collection, Dusty Rose. It looks a lot more pink in the tube, but on the lips is like a deep, like cool toned, rosy, mauvey nude. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. If you are familiar with my Am I Gonna Buy the series, then you probably know that I mentioned that I would no longer consider supporting Ofra because of like the drama that happened I think it was about a year ago well I saw this lip set on sale on Ulta and I caved and so I got it <laughs> uh, but this was the um liquid lip set that Manny Emiwe did with Ofra and they're really pretty. I'm actually wearing the shade here on my lips today. This is Aries and I think that this is just a really good peachy nude and the formula is quite nice too. It's not super drying at all so I, I'm probably going to keep this one. But these next two shades I might wind up decluttering. Um, we have Charmed which is like your typical like mid-tone cool mauvey pinky nude and then we have Hypno and this is like a unique take on like a berry shade but I don't typically reach for these types of colors I mean I'm glad that I got this lip set on sale because I think it's like $25 which is a bit more than what their typical liquid lipsticks cost but hey at least one of them has looking to work out for me so yeah and then I have three of the Miracle Matte Lips from Flower Beauty Again, one of my favorite liquid lip formulas. It's so comfortable. Such an underrated formula as well. Um, for those of you who don't know, Flower Beauty is Drew Barrymore's brand. Um, I have the shades Nude Blush, which I know looks really pale, but it can definitely work for me. And then we have Soft Berry, and this is such a unique color. Definitely I'm keeping this one. And then we have Scarlet Letter, which is a deeper not super deep red but it's definitely a little bit of like a deeper red shade than like your typical reds and I really like how this one looks on me um I had their shade crimson touch it's a beautiful red I just found that it just didn't look the most flattering on me because I had a slightly orange undertone to it three down one to go and here is the final tray and there are actually a lot of products in this little tray here. So we do have one bullet lipstick in here and that is a formula that no longer exists anymore. This is from Fenty and this is the Mademoiselle lipstick in the shade Wicked Wasabi which is a green. Definitely I'm keeping this. I know I'm hardly ever going to reach for it but I just love the idea of having a green lipstick so so much so I'm keeping it I'm keeping it then I have two glosses in here um, these are both from the uh, Star Wars collection with Colourpop and um, we have the shades Imperial yes Imperial which is like this peachy gold shimmer and then we have Elite which is like this lavender it's got some um, blue, a little bit of pink in here. Really beautiful colors. They're very sheer so they really don't show any color on the lips whatsoever. Maybe just add like the slightest hint of color to the lips but they're extremely sheer. And everything else that's in here is from Sugar Pill. I do have a gloss and the rest of them are liquid lipstick. So one gloss, 
8 liquid lipsticks. Sugar Pill has my favorite liquid lip formula. And I'm gonna keep all of them. This first one here is their lip gloss in the shade Bloom. It is stunning. I had been wanting the shade for so long. They finally restocked it not too long ago. So I had to get it. That's the only gloss I have from them. Now it's time to get into the liquid lipsticks. First one that we have here is Sub Zero. They recently restocked this one as well. Stunning shade. Now this one, I guess I'll swatch this one just so you guys can see it. It's a black and teal. And I'll come back to this in a bit. It's a black and teal that also has teal reflex in it. You can't really see the reflex in it when it's dr like wet, but once it dries, I'll tap it out so you can see like the teal reflex in it because it is stunning, stunning. Then we have Zero, which again, this one was restocked recently and it is just a black. This is a really great black. I love the Sugar Pill Liquid Lip Formula because it's comfortable, it's easy to work with because I've tried a few black lipsticks in the past and they've always been difficult to work with. This one isn't and also their liquid lipsticks are creamsicle scented. I, oh, I love it. I love them so much. Next up we have Antisocialite, which this is the Oxblood shade that I'm going to keep. And I might have to replace it because it is starting to get a little bit dry. But I just love how this particular Oxblood shade looks on me so, so much. And then too, I just prefer the formula over the Velveteens. So, yeah. Um, these next two shades have been discontinued. Uh, this one is in Spank. This one's getting a little bit dry, I think. I can't remember if this one was the one that was getting a bit dry or if this one was so okay. Um, but it's just a beautiful royal purple. We have Girl Crush, which is a beautiful, stunning fuchsia pink. Love that shade so much. You wouldn't think that I would be into pinks. Typically, I'm not, but I love that one. We have Trifle, which is like a neutral, nudey type shade. I really like that one. I tried a few of the other like nudes that they had, but they were either just not the type of undertone that I like or just too weird of a shade for me. Um, then we have Vertigo, and this is another one of the ones that has like the sparkles in it. You can really see the sparkles in the tube here. But it's like this like grayed out mauvey purple with teal sparkles throughout it. Stunning. Love that shade so so much. And the last shade that I have from Sugar Pill and the last look good lipstick and the last lip product that I have in my collection. Nurse. This is the red that I was talking about that I am keeping that I prefer over American Doll. It, it's so subtly different, but I prefer this formula over Anastasia's, and I also prefer how this one looks. So that's why this one's gonna stay. Okay, so I think it's dried enough, so I'm gonna just tap it out. Hopefully you'll be able to see some of the sparkle in it. Because it's black and teal with teal sparkles in it, so it might be a bit tricky to see. But it is so pretty. And with us exploring this final tray, we are done with the lip products. I have a lot of lip products and I definitely need to go through and just purge a lot of them. But that is it for this installment of my makeup collection series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all these lip products. Again, I'll go ahead and show you swatches of everything because remember I had swatched everything a few days ago. And here are the swatches of all the lip products in my collection. You're welcome. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until I see you guys in my next video in the next installment of my makeup collection series and the last part of th that series, which is going to be dedicated to my palettes. And until I see you guys in that video, goodbye.